Okay, this is my last of three videos on how to memorize the amino acids. Uh, I've been using this silly story, G, Al, Val, and Lou, isolated, proper meth, now they're freaking tripping. That's the hydrophobic amino acids. Then the story continued, they got glue on their asparagus, which was a negative experience for them, the so two negatively charged amino acids. They got an argument, um, Lou said to Val, listen, I have a history of arguing when I'm positive, I'm right. Those are the positive amino acids. So, the dramatic conclusion of the story. Um, this woman, Serene, and her sister, throw out the asparagus with the glue on it because they have tired of the entire situ situation. They've tired of the entire scene. So, Surrey is the simplest hydrophilic amino acid. Just got your beta carbon here and then OH. Nice oxygen to make it polar, very electronegative. Then you have her sister, cysteine here. Very similar, they are related after all. Just replaces the oxygen with a sulfur. Then they throw it out, so that reminds us of threonine, THR, T. Just realized I forgot these abbreviations. They're very easy to remember. Cysteine was actually discovered studying cis. That's how it got its name. So, Threonine is a lot like serine, it's just got uh, an extra carbon coming out of it, which sort of looks like a T. Great. Then we have asparagine. So if you go back to our negative experience getting glue on our asparagus, um, asparagine is basically aspartate, aspartate, except this oxygen becomes a nitrogen. So, looks like this. And just like we took out a letter here and put an N in, we take out the last letter here and make that an N, and then we emphasize it by making the one letter code also an N. So then, we have glutamine. Similarly, this three-letter code is just, they took this three-letter code and they changed the last letter to an N, and also very similarly, similarly it's the same molecule, it's just they took the oxygen out and they put a nitrogen in. So that makes sense. And uh, I feel like this Q here, they wanted to do a G, right? But they couldn't, so they just finished the circle and they made it a Q. That's how I remember that. And finally, they were tired of the whole scene, which reminds us of tyrosine. The Y obviously a prominent letter in tyrosine and it's been a long story but this comes back to the beginning because this is just phenylalanine with 
an OH on the end of it, which was just Aline, which was the first character we met at the very beginning. And um, so I think we've become tired of this whole sordid drug tale, and uh, Al has been rehabilitated here by these good Samaritans, Serene and Sistine, and I think that's very loving of them that they took the time to help out these uh, criminal uh, meth producers get their lives back on track. So since that's very loving of them, I would say they're very philic, which is why these are the hydrophilic amino acids. And that is the end of my story, and so I hope that helps you to remember all 20 amino acids based on these categories.